the European Championships uh, earlier on. Now we join the 3,000 meter ste steeplechase. Uh, Tim Hutchins. Yep, here you see Correa, the Olympic champion of 1984, in the lead with three laps to go. Second place is Van Dyke, the Belgian. Been in the top three or four in the world for three or four years now. But there you see Korea with quite a long way to go in this race, got a comfortable gap on the rest of the competitors. Uh, Tim, talking about uh, Julius Korea, of course, he was the 84 Olympic champion, as you said. Uh, but since that time, uh, he's not really, he's been in decline in a sense. He's not uh, been selected for major events since then. And this looks as though it might be an attempt to get back into the upper echelons of uh, this event. He is a good athlete, and quite clearly, uh, he, he posed his intent right from the start. He's led all the way through this race. Yes, that's right, Stuart. Well, I think maybe he has a problem, like a lot of the Kenyans, with whether or not to stay in the States, in the United States, at university, and to benefit from their system, from the coaches and the facilities, or whether to go back to Kenya and to train out there. And uh, really, when they go back to Kenya, very often they get too involved in their home life, too involved in their farms. Literally, this is, because I've been out there and I've seen them on their farms. And uh, it's a world away from their life at university in America. And often athletes just disappear for two or three years and then come back running better than ever. And here you see Korea doing just that. The field spread out here because Korea set out, set such a fast early pace. Looking very, very comfortable. And I can remember seeing that 84 Olympic final. Korea won it with an amazing sprint down the home straight, but it doesn't look like he's actually going to need that today. Well, the best in the year, in the best of the world this year, 820.64 for Julius Kariuki of Kenya. Uh, so the Kenyans uh, with uh, uh, Kip Kemboy at 824.26 have made an early start in this event. And uh, so Julius Korea obviously attempting to re-establish himself. Very relaxed and very comfortable. And just a little glance over his shoulder. Uh, this, in a sense, has been a lone battle for him. Good technique over the barrier. And uh, an interesting battle going on for second place between Van Dyke and Belavego of Hungary, the 26-year-old, who's got a best of just outside 8.20. So this pace uh, should suit both of the uh, uh, athletes uh, following uh, the former Olympic champion. Yes, it should. I think, uh, really, they've let him go now. And those two in second and third, Vago of Hungary, and Van Dijk of Belgium. There you see Van Dijk just going round Vago into second place. He's decided that he's going to put his foot down there in the last couple of laps now. But uh, I think those two have decided to let Korea go and to race each other. They can see there's too big a gap in Korea now. That's a good shot of Korea's form there. Beautifully fluent athlete, very relaxed arms. And here's Van Dijk. He really has opened up a gap quickly on, Vo on Vego. You can see there the flags blowing. It's still, still very windy in that stadium. And as Stuart was mentioning, it affects the girls in the 400 hurdles earlier. So it's affecting these athletes in the distance events. It can't be denied that uh, a wind doesn't help. It. You have it behind you one way, but uh, it's against you the other way. And it, speaking from experience, it never seems to balance out, unfortunately. Here you see Korea down the home straight. Putting in a bit of a sprint, but he's not under pressure here. That's a good time, 8.28. That's a solo effort for him, virtually a time trial. Second, Van Dijk, he'll be pleased with that run so early in the season. And third, Vago, the Hungarian. He too will be at the European Championships in split later on in the summer, I'm sure. Well, it was quite a good competitive race behind uh, Tim, but uh, Julius Korea certainly put on a demonstration there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he does against uh, uh, some of his teammates who are in a little bit better form at the moment. Uh, he certainly went away with it, he was determined, he took the lead from the start and got his just reward. Well, let's have a look at the uh, overall result of that uh, event. There it is, Korea, uh, 8.28.36, that should read. Van Dijk of Belgium, 8.32.64.